Hello everyone and welcome to So Many Games of the Time. My name is Joachim and today we'll be playing King Hill, one of the solo scenarios. Well, not really. We're not going to do the solo scenarios because the solo scenarios, they're basically puzzles. As you can see here, you just set up the, the board in a certain way and you have one game round to solve it. Not really my type of thing, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, instead, I am going to uh, play the Automa. But it says here, scripted scenario, a small step towards a solo automata that you can try and play, try to play in single player. However, it's not a full automat, automata, automata. And here, it really says what it does every round up to round six. So of course, I'm not reading this. I'm only going to read whenever it's their turn. And once you've played, you know what they're going to do next time. So obviously, Replayability is very limited. Maybe down the road they'll have a uh, bigger solo uh, mode. I've already played this once with somebody else, with uh, Illusionist. That uh, video should also be online um, soon, if not already. And um, yeah, so I'm interested to see what's going to happen now. I know how to play and uh, yeah, very curious. So what is different in the uh, solo version first of all only six rounds you have to start with a catapult which is pay two four six stone to deal uh, one two three damage to an enemy's castle um, as a player you cannot use both of these actions both mine actions in one round one of them has to be left open for the uh, ai the earthquake is the only power in the game no other powers will come out uh, even when it's when they're supposed to be coming out they won't come out and um to have to have a dif more difficult game you can actually add two earthquakes there um also the automata starts with uh as first player but i could potentially take it away by going there and uh yeah that's basically it just try to win in six turns basically um i start with no resources whatsoever neither does the ai this is going to call the AI much better, I think. Aside from that, I'll uh, refer you to the uh, how to play video um, or the playthrough video with illusionists if you want to know how it plays with uh, two players instead of solo. So um, yeah, let's give it a go, shall we? So their first player. So I'm going to check the solo scenario and see what the AI does first. Uh, turn one, play the train action. So basically basic peasants to the minor spots. So the basic peasant goes to the minor spot here. And so normally it is a stone and a stone or a coin, but it said here they take two stone. So because we're playing with the earthquake, I have to make sure that I'm able to pay three stone at the end of my turn. At the moment, I have nothing. If I don't pay the stone, I take damage. Or I could just ignore it and make sure I have more stone later on. Um, of course, I have no income whatsoever at this point. Normally, I'd say the family house looks interesting because it gives an extra uh, peasant. Uh, the sacred pool gives me one crystal per round, but um, there's no way I can do that because I only have two here. I could go to enlightenment, means train placed peasant into mage, soldier or miner and retrieve it immediately. So that is pretty awesome. I think that's what I'm going to do and train it into a miner so I can get a lot of stone from the jump or go here. So I have a lot of stuff as well. And then the sage is actually also good because it's a wild, you know, but I don't think there's a way for me to get Sage unless I go here first and then there. But I think I'd rather have this one. I might be able to do that one after all anyway. We'll see. College just allows you to, at the end of the turn, at the end of the round, you replace a peasant with one of those, if you still have one. And then of course you have these people here. The Master Slaver, at the end of the round, for once you get a uh, peasant. The stone golem, when you attack, you have to pay two stones to allow him to attack, but he's very good in defense. The berserker, you instantly attack, basically. You may execute both combat phases, do not gain any soldier bonuses, so he just goes wild from the jump. The wild griffin regenerates two health every round, so the wild griffin can only be hired with a ranger, 
which of course none of us have yet. And Grievous the Servant, I had that in my previous game, he's awesome because I had a hero, oh, there goes my servant, because I had a hero that uh, was very good with the Moon Force. And it says here, whenever you tap into force, deal two damage to the enemy's castle. But at the moment, but this, that's a big difference as well. When you play the solo AI, you don't have a hero. All right. So where's my peasants? So King Hill is part worker placement. You see all the circles, right? And also part attacking the other castle because you both start with 14. But at the same time, also defending myself from the earthquake. I guess you don't defend yourself. You just rebuild immediately. So I'm going to go to the enlightenment here. Train the placed peasant into mage, soldier, or miner, and retrieve it immediately. So this goes back here, and I'm going to get a miner. And the enlightenment is discarded off screen. And then it is once again their turn. Now let's see, turn two, play train action, basic peasant ranger. Yeah, that's too bad because that's something that I potentially would have done as well. So he changes that person into a ranger. Actually, what happens is these two will stay, uh, will be removed, but then the ranger and the miner are placed there. Um, and they'll only come back at the end of the turn. Also, because he took a ranger, which one is he choosing? Is it force? Yeah, he's using moon force. Okay, because he could have also explored. And the way explore works is you draw a unit from the unit deck and then you get what's in the top right. That is the uh, what, basically what you found while you were exploring. Okay. All right. So then back to me. Basically, his turns are over. I'm saying his, but whatever. It could be anything. They're done because cannot do anything anymore. So I have free play now. So I'm going to go and mine here. Um, that would allow me to get a sage, actually. Uh, which could be used anywhere, which is pretty powerful. But I could put it anywhere here to get four stone and defend my castle. I don't think I need to. I'm going to go for the sage. I've never played with a sage before. So I'm going there. I get crystal. I get a coin. And I get two stone. If anything, the stone prepares me for the next time. Then I'll play a peasant here and I play a crystal and a coin to get a sage. Uh, so I retrieve it at the end of the round. And then the caravan will also disappear. That just goes here. So that is the uh, end of the round. So we flip this over, because this happens every round. And, oh, this is really good for the ranger, because you explore twice and you get moon force. It's the end of the round, so we also both get one moon force. He has now two, I have one. All of these go away, but of course I retrieve. We all retrieve our units as well. So basically it's a miner and a sage against a rager and a miner. Ranger, not a rager. So these two go away. And these two go away. Everything moves to the right, Hup. and then new cards come out. So for the units, that will be, the new one is a wall defender. Whenever your cast is dealt damage, deal damage to wall defender instead. And he has, uh, yeah, okay, that's cool. And iron heart, immune to damage from force cards. And if you spend two coins, he will attack. Not very loyal if you have to pay him to attack. But anyway, next up is a monument, uh, which gives you money each each round. Um, then a family house again, and crystal explorer, which is also good. You either get ex crystals or you explore. Hence, crystal explorer. Now, also this is at the end of the turn. Everyone pays three stone. He does not, but I do have to but i'm not going to do that because i don't have enough so i get two damage to my castle now he is still first player so round two if you're the first player and have a ranger play the explore action okay so basically explore action here it is Hup. and we'll draw two cards so 
resources wise, they will get two stone, get one crystal, and one coin. There we go. So then these are discarded. They are not added here, they just go away because they're not a unit. Basically, the top right just functions as an explore action. All right, then my turn. Oh, before I forget, actually, I was supposed to replenish all these because these little see through spots, they are cumulative cumulative goods. So they'll add up over the, over the turns. So that's why I think I can't go to both because that would be OP. But of course, I'm going to go here for five stone or four stone and a coin. I think four stone and a coin, maybe. Yeah. yeah four stone and a coin. Then it's back to him. So now at least I have enough stone to stop the earthquake. So turn two. Play upper community stone mine action, which is possible, and he will get a gold coin. So he's going to go here, he's going to get four stone, so one, two, three, four, and a coin. And of course, I was supposed to take this, but put it back there, because I put it here already. So he has two coins, two, four, six, eight stone, and a crystal, which is really good. Now I could actually, no, I can't afford a family house. But my sage, for example, for example, could go here, get a spell card and three gems, which is pretty powerful. Um, I wish there was a way I could buy a peasant, but I cannot. The only, I will get a peasant next round, though. Be good to get a unit, but they all cost a lot. Would also be good to explore. I can actually go here and then explore twice and get power which is nice because that will give me a bunch of resources as well which I'll need for units because I need to damage his castle I could also go and pay some uh, stone to hit his castle but yeah I think I'm gonna go here so I'll explore twice so take two units one and two and I'm getting one crystal two stone and one gold coin which is pretty good yeah yeah and these are pretty good uh, units as well actually but they're gone um and then i also get one moon force so if i have five i can get one of these cards they're really powerful okay so that is the end of that round round three if you're the first player play train action basic peasant soldier of course because we both get an extra peasant there we go, we get our people back. We need to refresh. Uh, up. Up. Where's the other one? Here. And then, of course, stuff gets added again. So, one and two. And then uh, another coin here. So, that's two now. And another crystal here. Also two. Then, get rid of these two people. Uh, get rid of these two places. Move them along. Reveal two new units, which is the Master Slaver. Again, an easy way to get another peasant. And cheaper than the family house. Well, it is two crystals though. And Cultist of the Moon, so he will give you a force immediately. Uh, let me flip this one as well. So that is basically you can hire twice, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not mistaken, if you go there, you can hire twice instead of just once by going here. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, this happens. So at this time, I'm going to pay. Should I pay three? I'm not going to pay anything. It's going to go down to 10. I'm going to save my stone for now. Um, <clears throat> I think it's better if I use it. I think you can reset wise. Oh, with the two locations, one here path stones so basically whenever you do exploration you explore one extra which is pretty nice and path stones again you can actually buy both and then have four exploration uh, which is pretty crazy also normally we would have revealed the power but once again the solo automa it doesn't happen so what is he gonna do 
he is going to train action basic peasant to a soldier. So the peasant is going away and he's going to be soldier. Of course, it's dangerous because you might try to use that, uh, which actually I can always use with my sage. But um, okay, I think I should either go for here or here because the crystals are really interesting. The gold as well to hire units, especially because we have the double hire getting four gold plus two is six. Um, actually, both locations look really good uh, because that would allow me to get grievous, but then Maybe it's not that interesting because I don't have that hero now. Uh, but definitely a lot of people in general here, just having people to attack is already really good. Um, I like path stones too because they give me a ton of goods. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's difficult. It's difficult. I could also train, of course. Um, but train into what? Train into what? get a ton more stone but i don't really see the point if i get a family house i'll get a, an extra peasant and then i can really start doing stuff family house would be five and two i only have this left i think it's better to use my miner to go here get the cash so that's basically two four i'll get just five basically so this is five. So hop, I now have a ton of cash. And let's see what he does next. He has a ranger, he has a miner. So turn to higher ranger any. Oh yeah, basically you go there to the higher spot with a ranger or with anything and then get a coin. Higher, oh, wait, 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 that's explained here. Higher indicates placing of the opponent's a peasant on the higher action. It is stated where resources the opponent is ready to spend. Always the most expensive unit is hired. Okay, so basically he is going here and he only wants to hire someone who costs gold and wants to spend it. Problem is he only has two gold. So there's not really anyone he can hire um, because he's willing to spend gold, but not more than that. So, um, I guess instead of that, he's going to go explore, explore a ranger. Okay. He's going to go here again, get a double exploration. Uh, not these two. So he's going to get one crystal, ha, two crystals and stone, which is good for me because it's not money. So two crystals and stone. Because it says here literally for hire um, means that you first check the units for gold and coins. Ah, oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, I was wrong. Sorry. He's gonna put these two back and not get those resources. So he actually hires that for which he has the resources. So of course he cannot get the highest gold. He does have two gold, which puts him in the market for this one only. So he's going to hire the Cultist of the Moon, which means I have to move my stuff. He's going to spend two coins and one crystal. And then at the end of the turn, he'll get another power. So it's going to jump up to four. Okay, then it's my turn. Now this is a spot that has a green uh, gem, so that means everyone can go there. So I could go there as well if I wanted to. But I think I'm going to use my Sage to get all of the crystals and then do a double hire because I have a lot of coins, I have a lot of crystals, I'll be able to hire some people. I could get iron hearts, but the problem is you have to also pay him to let him attack. And I feel like maybe I should just train my peasants. With all the stuff I have now, I could hire the wall defender mm, because he has four defense. A master slaver, I cannot do. Here you don't get a spell though. Just get a lot of gems. Where should I go? Where should I go? Where should I go? Where should I go? Um, 
Maybe I should just get them. Okay, I'm gonna go here. So that is gonna be one, two, three, four gems, crystals, sorry. So I have a ton of everything. Uh, that's my turn. And then he will turn three, hire any money, any. But I don't think he can hire anyone because he has only a stone. He has no money, so he cannot hire that. So then, um, first player action, but he's already that. Crystal mine, I'm there. Golden mine, I'm there. <laughs> middle mine action. Okay, so he's going to go to the middle. So he's going to get this, a coin, and the stone. Get stone, okay. I guess that gives him more variety. To do so and then i have my peasants so i could go for the double hire get grievous anyway or i could build um, a family house i think i'm gonna go for a family house and then try to have like a mega turn somewhere near the end to try to do as much damage as possible all right i'm gonna build Gonna get the family house for two coins and five stones. Five stones, two coins. Family house. And then the round is effectively over. So I'm gonna get my peasants. And then these two guys come back. And then he has these three. And we flip over this one. So it goes like this. So this is at the end. Take the attack action. During the first phase of the combat, you will not receive any bonuses for the soldiers you control. Okay. And um, I have to pay three. I'm not going to pay three. I refuse to, <laughs> to put my resources at the moment. <laughs> um, these go away. This one goes away. Actually, you know what? I, I will pay three. No, I won't. Because even if he attacks at the moment, pretty safe. So, um, yeah, they go away. This goes here. This goes here. Um, add stuff. So one, two, so much stone. Uh, one coin, one crystal. Yeah. Um, and then add three units. So we have the greedy wicked plus one strength for each review power so he's not really that good because he only has two strength the iron servant deal one damage to the enemy castle or plus one of your endurance and enforcer one strength for each warrior you control so it'd be good for them and then two locations we have the market day which basically gives you stone or money plus hire and if you have if it's a soldier here you can hire double or Three choices of stone or money, and if it's a miner, get stone. So I really like market day. I might go there first even. And then sacred pool, one crystal every round. So let's see what he does. Turn four. If you are the first player and have six stones and a soldier, play the catapult action. Yeah, so that's going to happen. So hop, catapult action, six stones. So that's four six so he does three damage to my castle so suddenly i'm down to five uh, there we go that's my turn um i think market day is good um but i have five coins market day would give me six coins which would allow me to get the well, Iron Heart still looks good, but I don't have enough money to get him yet. So if I send my miner to the money, I'm going to send my miner to the money. Otherwise, I won't be able to attack. So I'll get him here. It says four coins. I just do two, two. Is that the best though? Uh, 
I could kill and get two coins from him. But I think I prefer the four coins. I need to bolster my forces. Okay, and then the second turn. Play lower cumulative stone miner. Oh, crap. Yeah, so and who's going to go there? Uh, the miner, probably. That would make sense. Yeah, miner. So here, so he gets six of these, which he just spent. So you can be sure he's going to probably just spend it again next round. And a coin. All right, that was not good for me. So I'll go to market day and do a double hire because I need to have people to fight. I could get the master slaver to get an extra peasant. Um, that would be three and two. So then I have six left. I mean, Ironheart is good, but the problem is you have to pay him to fight as well. I can only hire two people though. If I do Ironheart, I only have two gold left. Um, which is not enough for the Master Slaver. Okay, instead of that, I won't go to Market Day just yet. I'm gonna go here, get five stone and one gold. Four, five, and one gold. Because that allows me, allows me to get both of these. Um, I'm sure I'll pick up gold somewhere else. Okay, turn three. If you didn't play Catapult for six stones, play it. Alternatives, hire any money. Any. So, I guess with the last remaining one. Yeah. So they hire. So they only have two coins. So, first the highest coins. Cannot afford it. Uh, and then it's just any, basically. But always the most expensive, right? And I can only hire once. So it'll be one of these two. Um, I guess I get him because he's more powerful in strength. Uh, it's not looking good for me, though. <laughs> Help one and one. Okay, and me, um, wait, oh, I played my Sage, so now I can't do the extra higher action. Oh, but I can still just go there for double hire. I just won't get the, the discount, I guess. Okay, I'll double hire, get it out of the way. Uh, these two, so that's 10, 5, 7, 9, and 10. And then two crystals. What I need is spells. Um, but that's here on my board, right? Yeah. And then... Uh, I still have one peasant. I could do market day again, but then... Or explorer. Or just train him into a soldier. So I can attack. I could attack now, actually. I could attack now, but I don't have money to pay him. So I need money. I need money. This is just one of each, but it's not enough. I don't think I can get two gold anywhere. I could become first player and get a stone and money. And then... But that's not going to work. He's definitely going to hit me for another three next round. Um, and hiring again doesn't work. Oh, I think I just let this hit me too much. I think I need to become first player to stop him from using that. So I become first player, take it away from him, and I'll get one stone and one dollar. There we go. Um, because I bought the Master Slaver, I'm going to get an extra one because it's the end of the round. So he gets this back, this one, and this one. So he still has three. While well, I have severely bolstered my forces with yet another peasant, thanks to my slaver, 
So I have five to put down. But actually I can only attack with, well with two, I can put one here and then the sage there, but then that's it. Okay, so I spend three stone to protect my castle. And then these two go here, these two go away. Uh, so three new units come out. We have Priestess of the Sun, he's another target unit. It's pretty good. Good defender. King of the Hill, enemy peasants do not block your peasants. Okay. And Exploding Gnome. When Exploding Gnome dies, do one damage to any targets. Okay. So, Waste Shafts. Whenever you use a Miner Specialist to gain resources, gain an extra stone. And then Bond Gallery, your Ranger, ranger counts as an Assassin and vice versa. When James meets Bond. <laughs> Okay, so one and two, a coin and a crystal. Okay, and now I'm first player, so I need to go there, otherwise he will. So I'm going to spend six stone as well, just to bomb him and do three damage. Yay, my first damage. So he goes from 14, 14 to 11. And then it's his turn. So, round four. If you have Assassin, play Steel Action. It doesn't have Assassin. Alternative, check if possible to kill enemy units uh, with an Assassin. No. Hire any, any. Because here's kill, and that's it. So hire any, any. But who are you hiring with? Oh no, turn four is, uh, it wasn't round five. I was checking the wrong one. And I had to flip this one as well. So, oh, that's nice. Two crystals and a spell. So round five. If you're the first player, if not, play the first player action, basic peasants. He doesn't have a basic peasant though. Or any, any, uh, any others, I guess. So, I guess you use, I don't know. Let me just... Open. What are the alternatives? Um, this says first player action, basic peasant, comma. So there's no basic peasant. Um, so I guess the ranger then. Yeah. Because the miner would give him more there. Although the ranger would give him more variety. So I'll do this guy. So first player, so it takes it away from me again, which is annoying. And he will get, I guess, a coin and stone. It doesn't say, but I guess so, because that's always been like the trend. Uh, whenever it's an action, he always takes coins, so. Okay, so that's annoying. Um, well, at least I was able to stop an attack. Uh, all right, so what I need is a little bit of everything. Um, I'm going to go here to get the five, four stones and two gold, I guess. Because I need the golds. I actually need the gold more. I need the stones as well. But I can always get four stones. So I'll do this. I get three gold. Uh, his turn. So second turn. Hire any, any. So I guess I use this guy to hire. He has three gold. So hires the enforcer. Ah, uh, he's just too strong in his hiring stuff. I'm I'm getting all these peasants to to basically pump myself up and be able to strike, but he's just constantly getting everything. So annoying. All right, so my turn. Uh, like I said, I need. Um, I have money. I could do a double hire. I get Iron Servant. That's easy. And uh, King of the Hill. But he doesn't even have regular peasants. But he's going to have regular peasants in the last turn. But he does do two damage, which is important. But the thing is, when I attack his castle, it's going to be his defense, right? So it's three, five, eight. At the moment, I do five damage. So I need to go higher than 
that, which isn't that straightforward. Um, but I need at least one warrior. And I need to have, well, I'll go here for four stone before he blocks it. There's going to be four stone regardless for him, but not for me. So his third turn. Oh, we forgot to do moon force. Moon force. Um, wait, I have I ever gotten moon force? I have once. Um, how much moon force should we have right now? Started with zero, so one, two, three, four. Uh, but we then we both got one, so this round we're both at five. Actually, so. Uh, if you have five move force, do so tap into force to deal three damage. If you don't, skip to turn four. Yeah, so he taps into the force and does three damage. Great. Great. I'm down to two. Uh, go back to zero. My turn. I will also tap into the force and then take a card. Deal three damage to target unit and two damage to another target unit. Deal three damage to enemy car castle. So I can take out two of his units, which is really good. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do that chain lightning and kill these two. So they're dead. So up, back to him. Turn four then. Play upper community stone mine. So he's going to go to the stone mine and get four stone. So much stone. My turn. Um, now I could attack because I would have one. I need to hire first, but I would have. He only has three defense. So double hire, but I need. To, I cannot spend. I can only spend two coins, so I'd have to be getting these two. If I do that, because I don't have enough gold to pay him, and I need to pay him. Ah, oh, so annoying. Is there any way else that I could get some other stuff that's worth it? I could also not double hire, just do regular hire and get him because there'll be two, three, seven damage. Minus three, so I do four damage to his castle. But he's going to kill me next round regardless because he's going to use the catapult and I'm dead. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's going to be his first move. Um, yeah. Anyway. Uh, I'll just hire King of the Hill. There we go. So that costs two and one. He has finished. Um, and then I have one more. So I guess I should attack. My attack. So first of all, we add up everything. He has no defense whatsoever here. He does have uh, three defense here, and he cannot use his peasants to defend, so it's just three defense. And I have one, five, seven. So that's minus four. So he's down to seven. And then it's unit attack. So I have one, five, seven against his two. So... I am going to spend two coins to activate my Iron Hearts. He's going to take two damage though. But he does kill the Enforcer. So, technically now, next round, if I would attack, I'd win. But I think we, we all know that's not going to happen. So this one goes away. These two go away. So Market Day was not even used. Oh, I should have used Mark. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I could could have gone to market day. Let's say I did. All it gets me is gets me an extra gold coin. Because we get a coin and then higher. So let's say I did that. But it doesn't matter. In the grand scheme of things, it's not gonna matter. So we all get our stuff back plus an extra guy. 
uh, took his first player token away too early. Or I should have at least defended more. Uh, Pass stones go away. I'll be mixing these up here. Seems like, yeah, definitely be mixing up the discard pile. Well, I'll figure it out later. Okay, so hop, hop. So three new units. So the crystal seeker, you immediately get three crystals. Exploding gnome again, and oracle shaman. Assassin specialist cannot kill your other units. Okay. Uh, and then two buildings, reserved grounds. We haven't had legendary. The legendary is just there, but they're not going to come out. And rampart connection. So reserved grounds is basically you would put it here, and then you can build any other action, any other building for free later on, including legendary. And rampart connection. Whenever you take the build action, you may pay three stones to gain one castle endurance. Yeah, I should have actually bought that other one that gave me protection. But yeah, whatever. Last place here is one stone force and two of that. So we both get one, by the way. Um, and then we add. So there's three here now. One coin. And then one and two. And then we already know. I know what's going to happen now. It's going to say that he... But wait a minute, how come... I know that he has four, which aren't I, aren't I supposed to have an extra peasant? Oh, here. Okay, I'm maximum. Okay, never mind. So, turn round six. Play the catapult action, six stones, three damage. Yeah, game over. Game over. Six stones, three, six. Up. Two damage. I'm dead. So, kids, remember to protect your castle. Ah, oh, yeah. Too bad. There's uh, nothing else here that I could have done. No, nope. nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. There are, of course, several things that I should have done. I should have bought that guy who blocks the, uh, the castle damage. I could have bought the robot that heals me a little bit. I should have blocked it, of course, in the beginning. Yeah. Sad part is, if I were to attack now, one, five, seven, boom, you're dead. So, yeah. But still, it wasn't played very well by me, I have to say. Um, but I think you get an idea now how the game works, roughly. Just know that if you play with more people, uh, first of all, it's more interesting. Uh, I, I feel but it's it's fun nonetheless I like it um, but uh, it's pretty stale in this way because there's only one power if you play with more people the powers will, will fill up some of them will come out already faced up and make it a lot more interesting even though we forgot that bit when we recorded the first playthrough but anyway um, yeah here you have to focus too much on getting stone 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 but anyway, I like it. I still I still like it. I think it's good to... I think I would play it solo just to refresh myself for the rules. If I'm going to play it down the line and I haven't played in a while, then I might do a quick solo. I'm not interested in the puzzles um, because, for example, let's say I would have like two health. That's the situation. And I have one round to avoid dying if he has seven. What am I going to do? Okay, now... I'm first player, the obvious choice would be attack and he's dead. And then that's it. You know, nothing else happens. But yeah, I like the art. I like the way the game works, the mechanics, the worker placement combined to attacking each other, this castle and so on. I think that's all pretty, pretty well done. I like it. But it's another one of those two player games. In one of my other videos, I mentioned it, um, I think in the Kickstarter top 50. I mentioned it if I just meet up with someone and just say, okay, whole day two player games all right we're gonna play king hill we're gonna play radlands we're gonna play dice throne all those kind of uh twisted fables all those head-to-head -head games you know this one would 
slot in nicely because the worker placement makes it very original. Also, these powers, when they come out in full, they make it a lot more original. The buildings, especially the legendary ones, let's see which one would have come out. The tavern, once per round, you may use the tavern to take any non-train action. That's <laughs> super nice. For the second one, I don't know what, I shuffled them, but they're behind each other, I don't know why. Library, whenever you take a study spells action, keep both cards in your hand, which is also massive. I didn't get a single spell, that was stupid. Because let's say, let's say if I took the first one, plus if I spent two crystals, plus two cosmetics, I could have healed myself. And most of them have that option, you know. So, yeah. I think the way the battle, the, 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 the attack works mostly is one round you whittle down the defenders and the second round you punch. That's how it tends to work. Uh, there's always going to be some race in getting units, but then the buildings get you a, a leg up as well. It's too bad I got six now. I wasn't able to use all six of them because I basically got six because I didn't defend well enough. Yeah, like I said, cool game. I like it. It's part of my collection and I think it'll stay there for a good while. Um, the only problem is getting it played because I think I'm going to have to do some kind of... Uh, actually, I should have backed two copies because then you could explain the game, play with four people, have a mini tournament. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's too late now. <laughs> okay, well, that's it. I'm going to stop here. My name was Joachim. This was So Many Games for a Little Time. Thank you very much for watching. Please think about subscribing and everything else. And uh, yeah, that's it. Bye-bye.